be doing another get ready with me video because I did one and y'all seem to really like it or some of you guys. Today I'm getting ready for a Broadway show. I'm going to go see Alexander Hampton. I've already seen it in New York and in Chicago but they're coming to Houston so I'm really excited to see it. So I'm doing my makeup and my hair. I'm not a makeup artist or hair artist. Don't comment down below saying I did it terrible. This video is completely just for fun not to be taken seriously. So I don't wear makeup a lot because you know obviously I'm a kid but since I'm going to be going to a Broadway show I'm so excited so I want to look extra fancy so I'm gonna be doing a lot of makeup today so let's just get straight on with the video so I'm gonna be using a new beauty blender that I got it's from Claire's it came with three and this little they're like little unicorn like poops it's really funny so the first step is primer primer is very important for people my age um, especially because it helps you to not get acne. It basically helps for the makeup to not sink into your skin and clog your pores and things like that. So I'm using this one that I'm almost out of. This is the Poreless Tarte Primer. Um, it's really nice. Ah! Okay, I've dropped so many things today, it's unreal. But with primer, it feels so weird because you literally just squirt out a little bit on your finger and it's like a clear gel. I love doing these Get Ready With Me videos. Or not these Get Ready With Me videos, I've done one. But the first time I did it, it was so fun. Because usually when I'm doing my makeup, I'm in such a talkative mood. Like, I don't like to just sit there in silence and I don't really, I'm not a big music listener, so like, I don't know what to do. So it's fun that when I'm doing my makeup, I like to talk to you guys. Last week I uploaded a really fun vlog where I go shopping and I cut my hair. So if you haven't seen that, you totally should check it out. I'm gonna do foundation. Today I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena Hydro, Hydro Boost foundation. I just got this one from like Target, not anything too special. So I just like apply it on. Boop, 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 get some lines up there. <laughs> Comment down below what your favorite color is. That was so random, but I was just thinking like, my first favorite color was red. Now I do not really like the color red, and I don't know, it's just weird, I've gone through phases. I used to love teal, and I like pink. I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender, just get it a little damp, and then I'll be right back. Um, I'm just gonna blend that throughout my face. There's like a piece of hair on it, and I've been trying to get it off for so long. Okay, I kinda like this beauty blender. I haven't, I've only used it like once. It's just really, really tough, like it kinda hurts. Um, to blend with but it's cute so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, so now I've got my foundation all blended I'm gonna actually go in with a different beauty blender just because this one kind of hurts I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics beauty blender. This one's so old. That's why I mainly got a new one So now I have this concealer from Tarte. I don't even know what it's called. It doesn't like say I just apply it under my eyes like that. I'm obsessed with this concealer and I got it at Sephora so they helped me find my perfect shade so it's like beautiful a lot of times I get little like spots right down here. You guys have seen them before and you're like, eh, it needs a spot. I feel like that I'm always just gonna get one right there. So usually I conceal that. Conceal, no, let's like cover it up. Okay, so next is finishing powder. I have this one from e.l.f. and then I have this brush from a Macy's 8 Peat set, Peat Piece. I only just got this powder. Powder's not like a big thing for me. Like, it's not like I've always been like, I need to have a powder. Uh, I know it's like really important. For your foundation, it just makes it look really good. Oh, this brush is so soft. Next we have contour. So recently I've been really loving this Tarte palette. I always use my contour with this now. Um, I do have another bronzer that I really love. And then I use this brush from It's My Yara Zara. <laughs> and it's number three. I love this brush. It feels so good. I just use the shade Desert. And it's so pigmented, so it's like... A good way to help you put contour on is you go like this and it's just right there like there's like a clear spot to put it when you suck in your cheeks okay <laughs> okay <laughs> now I have my contour on I love the look it's so intense I might do a little more blending later okay so next is highlight this is my favorite part of the whole makeup look so if you watch my last Get Ready With Me, you know that I use this highlighter pretty much every day. It's my favorite highlighter in the world. It's called Exposed Highlight from Tarte. It's so good. Um, as you can see, I've kind of dented it. <laughs> but today, I really want to try this palette, this highlight. <laughs> because I really love this palette. It's like my favorite eyeshadow palette. It's a contour and eyeshadow palette. It's so nice. It's where I got all of the these brushes. They come together in a set. And this one looks really pretty. So I've used the white highlight before and it's like boom. <laughs> um, but I want to try that pinky one. Okay, so highlight brushes usually look like this little guy. Um, highlight, 
I feel like for beginners, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Like, I, um, I used like so many different brushes that weren't highlight brushes and it still made my highlight amazing. I just put a little on the tip of my nose. <sighs> That's so pretty. I'm actually obsessed. It's like so pretty. Now we're going in with eyes. So I'm gonna use this BH Studio Pros palette. Um, it's Ultimate Artistry Shadow Palette. I usually don't use it a lot. These are the brushes that I'm gonna be using for my eyeshadow. So I'm using some new brushes. These are from Macy's 8-piece set. So these are two just blending like crease um, brushes and they're really nice. I haven't actually used them yet so I don't know if they're really nice. And then this little brush is just to apply all over the lid and in the inner corner. So these are the three brushes I'm using. I think I'm going to do this orangey color. I'm just going to put that right in the crease. Okay, this is weird. It's not like crazy pigmented. Man, I'm obsessed with this highlight. It's so pretty. Okay, so there's the crease. Next, I am going to, I want to do like a shimmery shade, but through the crease as well. This one right here. I've used this, this one a lot. It's really pretty. Oh, <gasps> that pigmented. Okay, here we go. I think I'm actually gonna go risky and I'm gonna do some of this gold on the lid. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my smaller brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics. It's number 10. And I'm just gonna get like this white. And I'm just gonna put some of that on the lid just to brighten it up in the front. I like the white on top. I think it sets it off. Okay, I actually love that. There's a little fallout right here, but I don't think it will matter later on. Comment down below if y'all wear makeup, cause I really wanna see like, are you guys big makeup wearers or not? The next and last step of eyes is mascara. So I'm very picky with my mascara. I like it to be perfect. I like my eyes to be very bold. So I always do a combination of mascaras because I haven't found a mascara yet that's like enough to just put on by itself. So I have two. I used to do this one and that blue one right there but this time I'm gonna be using a different one because I recently got it this is Maybelline Total Temptation it's basically a mascara that doesn't dry and it doesn't feel crusty at the end of the day and then I put this waterproof total tease one I got both of these at Target I just always blink on accident when I'm doing my bottom lashes and then it messes it all up. Mascara fixes your eyeshadow look. Like if you don't have amazing eyeshadow then you put mascara on and all of a sudden it looks so much better. It's really weird. The only thing about this mascara is that it's a bit clumpy. That looks so good! I love these mascaras together. They make it look like I'm wearing false lashes. Okay, so last thing is lipstick. I love lipstick. I actually only have one lipstick, actually. What am I saying? I wear liquid lipstick. I love liquid lipstick. I'm also wearing a onesie, just like, by the way. Okay, so we've got this bright purple. No. I've got a dark purple. Then there's my color that I always wear. That's a maybe. But then I've got this dark, Oh, I'm gonna be doing this one. This is a NYX product. Ooh, I love this color. I've always loved this color. It applies so nice and then it dries. I really love this makeup look. It's very, very dramatic and I like the eyeshadow and the contour. So now that we've got makeup done, we've gotta go on to hair. So I'm just going to be curling it. Usually I do something fancy, but since I recently cut it, I don't wanna do anything to it just because I love the way it looks. But I do want to do something for this video because I don't want you guys to just be like, no hair, come on. This is my curling wand. It's very weird. I've had it for two years now. It's super nice. I really love it. And let's just do this. Honestly, I'm very bad at curling my hair, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm just going to do a few pieces of my hair. Like, I'm not going to do each individual strand because I want it to be kind of natural. I hate doing it on this side because I can burn myself so much easier. I burn myself. <laughs> the curls look like insane right now, but I'm gonna like brush them. Now that my hair is done, I'm just going to apply a bunch of setting spray to my face. So I have this Urban Decay one. It is super nice, I got it from um, so, Sephora. <laughs> I don't put my setting spray on as soon as I'm done with my makeup because the mascara, the Temptation mascara, it's so wet that when I put this on, it smears it like every time, so I have to like wait a little bit. This is the scariest part. Uh, so wet. There you go, that is the finished look. I really love how this hair turned out. I think I might do this hairstyle more often. It's like super natural. Please, please, please comment down below if you would like me to do another one of these videos. And I will see you guys next week.